You're going to get the report back. You're going to sit down with the the Peblo or the, the PEB officer or whatever. And um, you're going to go over the claims. And if you have no complaint, you're going to go, okay, fine. Sign it. And it goes. And then the VA, once they get the 214, they do a final. If you get something back and you go, ah, I don't think this is right. Then you do the VARR. So let's just say you agree, life goes on. Um, and now you're at that point where you're looking at the disability uh, estimated compensation worksheet. This is an estimate. DFAS will be the one that will give you the calculation, but this is a strictly an estimate. Okay. Now, if you are if you're referred for your referred condition, if, if that rating is less than 30%, this is the severance pay calculation. And if you were found unfit and your rating was 30% or higher, here is where you will receive the estimated retired pay um, based upon the years of service or the disability, comp uh, disability rating percentage comp computation the higher of the two. So again, as a recap, your options are to agree or not agree. If you agree, your life moves on, you transition out the military, you move on. If you don't agree, then you go and request a formal board. And this is where your lawyer um, will definitely help you with that. The other aspect of it, if you don't agree with the VA ratings, you can request a VARR, which is a VA rate consideration. The VA will only reconsider when there is new medical evidence or sufficient, sufficient justification of an error to warrant reconsideration. When a soldier demands or is otherwise granted a formal hearing, the soldier will defer submitting the request for ratings reconsideration until they have received the formal board decision. Legal counsel. So the soldier may seek legal advice regarding their opinions from an attorney assigned as an MEB counsel, PEB counsel, private legal counsel retained at their own expense, or from a VA accredited representative of a service organization recognized by the secretary of the VA. Now, I understand what the terms are saying here, where you may, but I, I personally, in my personal opinion, for my case, I did not want to not see the, the lawyer. I wanted to talk to the lawyer about everything. Um, to make sure that I was uh, making some good, sound decisions. The other thing here that's interesting is it talks about the VA credit representative. I wish that I knew when I was in the MEB phase, when I met with my MSC liaison and she asked me, so what do you want to file? And I'm like, hmm. I wish that I met with a VA representative at that time he or she would have been able to help me figure that piece out a little bit more. But um, yeah, so just take that little side note. Meet with a VA rep, you know, when you're filing to make sure that you have an additional coverage, someone else who's looking through your, your, um, your record and then also someone who's going to kind of advise you as to what you may want to consider filing. All right. So always seek advice from your lawyer. Always. I, that's my opinion, but I, I don't advise just skipping that step. They'll talk to you about what your options are. And if you decide that you want to go through a formal board, they will hand you over to a new lawyer. And all your information in case will be transferred over to that new lawyer. But the key thing is to help them help you. 
Give them that evidence, right? Get the letters, get the buddy statements, write up your own personal testimony that they can see to put the story together for you. This is your board. This is your board. So, so last thing I would say is that I am just happy and elated and excited to be able to finish and complete this for you. This is something that was is near and dear to my heart. As a nurse, I understand how hard and difficult the medical and trying the medical board process is. And life would not let me go un, unless I did this. So if you ever need any help or if there's any issues or stuck points, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be there to help you. All right. Take care.